Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Desholo by Logan with Black Hollywood Live, and I am here with the cast of SpongeBob, Legend of Boo Kini. Okay, my face right now, I'm so excited. Honestly, I was just telling them how are you guys all doing today. Good. Good. So I guess it's, it's black, yellow, pink, red, uh, brown with a white belly, and turquoise live. Live. Every, we, got, we, got, live we got all the colors right. above going on right now. <laughs> United colors of bikini bottom. So can you please introduce yourselves for everyone who doesn't know that SpongeBob and Patrick actually have like a real person behind them? Sure. I, I definitely have a real person behind me, and it's him. Uh, uh, my name is Tom Kenny, and I'm SpongeBob. I'm Bill Fagerbach, and I'm the marginally real person behind Patrick. <laughs> I'm Clancy Brown. I'm Mr. Krabs. I'm Carolyn Lawrence, and I'm Sandy Cheeks. Howdy. And I'm Roger Bumpus. The person behind me is Carolyn Lawrence. And I play Todd, Bl- what's his name, Squidward. <laughs> <laughs> now, I was, I was thinking about it earlier, and I was saying, oh, my gosh, like I've been watching SpongeBob since I was... It came out in like 1999, right? So like 18 years later. Can you believe that the show's been on for 18 years? Oh, it's unbelievable. No, it's, uh, it really does not seem even close to that long. It's, uh, you know, it's a pleasure and, you know, it's fun. It's fun, so it's, it's not, it doesn't feel laborious at all. It just feels like something that I, I want it to go on forever. So, Oddly enough, it gets more enjoyable <laughs> as we, yeah. as we yeah. go along, yeah. That's like if Patrick had a carbuncle, that's what it would be. <laughs> yeah, it would be look just like that. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you guys? What do you think? It's like, I'm sure when you went in to this audition, I did, I'm sure you didn't think this is the next like, 18, 20 years of my life. No, no idea. Thought it was just going to be the, a, yeah, a, a pilot and a few, yeah, and then that would be that. And here we are, 20 years. Absolutely. 18 years, and I still can't find a parking place in this building. <laughs> <laughs> And what about you, Mr. Crowd? Yes, I agree. <laughs> Roger, they they're not just going to give you a parking space. They don't you, they you, you to get in the place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, once you hit 20 years, then they'll think about giving you a yes. parking space. But you're, you're almost there. So, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm sitting here like, I'm like, this is real. They're, they're real people, you know? So... You all are, you know, you're, you're uh, Mr. Crab, SpongeBob, you know, but who do you actually relate to? Like, like, if you had to look at one of the characters and say, you know what, that's who I really am like, who would you say you're more, most like? I got to say Squidward, because I'm not cheap. I am sort of dumb a lot of times. So, so I, I'd, say, I'd say Patrick and, uh, and Squidward. What about you? No, I'm constantly confused. So Patrick, yeah, I'm a lot like my character. Okay. Yeah. I'm probably yeah. I'm Sandy. It's Sandy. yeah, yeah. We're Sandy. just the same person. Yeah. <laughs> minus, the, minus the fur. <laughs> she knows karate and physics. She's a scientist. Yeah, right. Um, I kind of identify with old man Jenkins. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that one. All right. And what about you? I'm a I'm a hybrid. I I identify with uh, Squidward and Plankton. So it's, it's, I don't, there's some episode in there that has to happen. But um, yeah, I'm a little bit. A megalomaniac. Whose uh, secret recipe are you trying to steal in real life? I'm not sure about that one. I, let me get back to you on that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, you know, the new special is coming out, and I noticed that it's a stop motion um, animation, which is totally different. Like the characters, they look nothing. They look similar, but it's just like a totally different feel when you're watching that. Why did they choose to make this special stop motion instead of the typical animation that we are used to seeing? Well, we had done a. a, a Christmas holiday special in that in that uh, format, and I think that format is just so evocative. All those, all those classic Christmas specials like Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer and Santa Claus is Coming to Town, all those old Rankin Bass uh, studio specials that are still shown every year. There, there's just something really uh, evocative in, about those, and I, I think they wanted to tap into that kind of warm fuzzy, and they, and they literally are fuzzy because they're covered in felt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. the world of animation, I think, has a strong sense of history and uh, nostalgia and regard for the innovative people uh, in the past. That, so we yeah. did a throwback episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's what it feels like when you're watching it. We're doing the uh, uh, more holiday uh, specials also. Uh, look forward to the stop motion uh, International Pancake Day uh, uh, holiday is coming up uh, so it's, uh, that after, right after Arbor Day. You know, so. I'm pitching the Secretary Day, uh, SpongeBob, very special Secretary's Day special, stop motion. <laughs> so, you know, when I think about like voice acting, you know, I've thought to myself like I've tried doing voices and whatnot, but it seems like they never are like consistent. Now, 
you all seem to get it the same all the time. Is it ever hard? Like, do you ever f- find yourself like kind of, um, you know, your voice changing a bit and it being hard to do the the SpongeBob voice or Patrick or? I went through puberty last year and it was really hard. <laughs> no, uh, it's just a. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. Like right now, I've got a little touch of laryngitis. So, so SpongeBob might sound a little more uh, different than he does. Uh, he will hopefully tomorrow at the session. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> uh, when you're a one trick pony like me, it's uh, pretty easy. But uh, there are a lot of people in this business, like this guy here, who are constantly doing uh, a lot of different voices. So, when you're n- not doing something you've done for several years, sometimes you need a reference, and they can play you. Oh, this was how you did this character, and so you get a little help. So not a one-trick pony, by the way. <laughs> now, and what about you two? Go ahead. Are you three? <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, it's the same. If you get a cold, then you can't work. You know, but we also have amazing directors, director that will get you back on point. If you don't sound like you normally sound, and and he'll let us know, and well, we can try to fix it. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like you know you're running around doing voices, and there's always you know it's L.A. So there's always, there's always some crazy wildfire or some seasonal change or like you know weird spores, pollen in the air spores spores, spores that are just like li- living inside you uh, uh, re- ready to come out as a, so uh, yeah so so LA just throws a lot at you in terms of like just environment you know so so uh, you know you're you're always you're always fighting to keep that consistency that you're that you're referring to but you know it all comes out in the, in the end okay so my favorite SpongeBob episode is one of my favorites is the one where SpongeBob um, he gets on like the um, blow up muscles, you oh, know? Adam arms. Yeah, because Adam arms. Because you know, like I kind of relate. Like I don't really work. Yeah, yeah you no see, wonder. like I don't really work out or anything. But I love the look. Hey, you know what I'm saying? So which? <laughs> this is a press junket, not a gun show. Uh, look, hold on, hold on. Look, I have a little something. You can't tell with the jacket on, but I can take it off. You know? <laughs> it's tearing right here. <laughs> So, which episode is your favorite? Out of, out of all of the hundreds of, of episodes there are, which one is your favorite? Um, I gotta say, Band Geeks and Dying for Pie is my two favorites. Okay, is Band Geeks the one where they did the stadium? Yeah, we did the stadium. Yeah. Yeah. man. Sweet, sweet victory. Okay, were you actually singing when SpongeBob was singing? I was not. That's like some weird song that they found on some public domain CD okay. somewhere. That voice. I was like, wow, you can sing like that also. Oh, I should have said yes. Now, can, can we take that again? No. Episode was was made just to get to that song. At the end, they really? found they found this, this this silly little song. This let's, let's do the whole episode just to get to it, and that's what that's how that. But Tom uh, thing... is an amazing singer. Oh yeah, he's oh. not. Yeah, he's phenomenal. We all are. Yeah. Well, right. Yes. <laughs> we all. We have an album. <laughs> and which are your which your favorite episode? Um, well, Band Geeks is a great one, and I also like the paper. The one isn't that what it's called? Yeah, oh, where yeah. where Squidward a piece of paper. P- picks up a little piece of paper and can't figure out how to play with it, and they have a blast. And then yeah. Anyway, that's my favorite. <laughs> and what about you? I love the legend of Bukini Bottom. <laughs> Hey. Yeah, I love hey, that one. one. All right, you have to check that out. Soon, yeah. And we're recording one tomorrow that we can't really talk about, but it's a great one too. Okay, and what about you? What would you say? Uh, the pilot, because it set the table, and I saw it. I went, "Oh, this cartoon's awesome." Do you actually watch the show? Like, do you all like watch the show sometimes? Well, my my kids are now adults, so I don't see it as much as I used to when they were little. Yeah. Yeah. Although we get to see a lot of it when we're doing ADR. You know, like just filling in the like when the animation comes back finished, and we're just putting in, you know, crowd sounds and oofs and args and stuff like that that we didn't catch on the way in. Screams. Yeah, Yeah. this episode had a lot of screaming in it because it's Halloween, right? So it's like there's a lot of just full on, (laughs) yeah, just fins to the wall screaming, you know, and and uh, it's 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 crazy. Well, you know. I got to say, thank you so much for talking to me. This was one of my, my biggest like, uh, like dreams. I went on an audition one time, and they said, who would you interview? And I said, SpongeBob. I'm like, no joke. Not even joking. So I'm like, this is, is crazy. It's amazing. Right, so make sure you check out SpongeBob SquarePants Legend of Bukini Bottom, October 13th. See you guys later. <laughs> the Legend of Bukini Bottom, the brand new SpongeBob Halloween special, Friday, October 13th, on Nick.